work. Good morning, Izzy. I am doing my first thoughts from places, I guess. I am here at work, as you just saw, uh, sitting in my car with a sepia overlay. Um, the thing you said about online relationships and how people think that they aren't real really kind of struck a chord with me. I actually met my girlfriend online, so the fact that people can consider these things to not be real really seems odd to me. As you know, um, most of my social interaction uh, often comes from the internet these days, from the chat room that you have set up. Talking with our friends on there and communicating with them really is how I spend a lot of my time. The rest of the time being spent either with you or um, with my girlfriend. So when I look at it, I see that most of my current relationships, most of my current friendships and any other relationship that I have, it really has a foundation in the internet. I know you and I met through work, but we really strengthened that friendship through the internet and linking each other's stuff and then you inviting me into your chat thing and then me just kind of getting, whoa, what just happened and really becoming a part of that group. And now I really am a core member of that group, which is interesting. I've been there, what, two years now? Two years. Yeah, because it's about the same amount of time as my current job. Wow. It's nuts. Like you said, the internet has become so much more than a place for information. It's become a place for community. It's become a place for people to spend their lives. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This kind of interpretation of the internet allows us to do what we're doing here, have a conversation through the internet, and it's not weird, it's not bizarre, it's just something people do. You know? I'm running out of space on my camera phone, so I guess I will see you on Wednesday. Bye, Izzy.